These papers have been officially peer-reviewed and formally published. Now, the first one is especially timely because of the recent reports of a zoo tiger becoming infected with SARS-CoV-2, as well as scattered reports of pets with positive tests. The question is, can animals catch and transmit the virus? A new Chinese study finds cats are susceptible to both becoming infected and transmitting the virus to each other. The study also found ferrets who have similar respiratory tracts to humans can become infected as well. Now, dogs, pigs, chickens, and ducks were not susceptible to the infection. These results will need further validation, but in the meantime, if you are sick with COVID-19, you should heed the CDC guidance and avoid contact with your pets. And this study would suggest especially your cat. The other important takeaway is that as vaccines are being developed, ferrets might be a valuable animal model to test effectiveness. Now, if you've been looking for a reason to quit smoking, another new paper suggests COVID-19 may be it. Prior research suggests smokers have at least double the risk of suffering severe outcomes when infected. Well, now a new study suggests why. Smokers develop more of the ACE2 receptor. That's the protein that SARS-CoV-2 uses to infect us. Big picture, smoking does more than hurt lung function. It probably also makes it easier for the virus to infect you. Now, finally, there's been a lot of debate about the effect warmer, sunnier spring and summer weather might have on virus spread. So a new study looking at meteorologic data compared to infections in China actually found there was no change with warmer temperatures or additional UV exposure, aka more sunlight. Now, clearly, the researchers weren't able to sample a full year of data since the virus has only been known for several months, but they were able to look at different regions with much warmer, sunnier weather. There's still reason to hope summer might bring a change, but we shouldn't count on it. Back to you.